Naruto, Naruto Next Generations fans. Yes, indeed, it has become a renaissance, so to speak, for anime and manga fandom alike with this year of Boruto's anime and manga. Of course, the manga recently got a lot of people talking because it's gotten to a very critical, climactic point at this time. And then the anime has been doing the Sasuke Retsuden manga adaptation as well as its announced the code arc. Well, we have some very good news, even more so to looking forward to the code arc. Because in case you don't know, the code arc is going to be the first time the Boruto anime has went canonical adapting in, in quite some time, to say the least. So uh, let's read, though, because apparently one of the people People over there that do the Boruto anime is giving some very much so promising uh, details about the upcoming code arc. Honda Masuya, which he's always in the news talking about something interesting regarding the Boruto anime and stuff like that. Again, I believe he's one of the directors over there, one of the animators. The new code arc, which begins February 5th, is being produced by an equally impressive staff as Sasuke Retsuden. Well, hold up. <laughs> hold the phone, Honda Masuya. I will say that while there was was like one episode and some scenes in general in the Sasuke Retsuden anime that looked really good in terms of art. To say that equally impressive staff as Sasuke Retsuden isn't the most thing to make me go gung-ho because Sasuke Retsuden could look a lot better. So I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Initially, I was like, oh yeah, yo, he's about to hype up the code arc. But then when I see equally as impressive, I'm like, I don't want it to be as equal as Sasuke Retsuden. It should be a lot better. It should look like, you know, Ishiki stuff. Yeah. I am honored to have the opportunity to be in charge of a large part of its script. Please let the way of life of Boruto be burned into your eyes. Pause and no, I'm not burning nothing into my eyes. Honestly, I guess that is one to take into it as you will in terms of it's going to be equally impressive as Sasuke Retsuden, which Sasuke Retsuden has had some beautiful art but the animation has not been great for Sasuke Retsuden and if he's hyping up that animation and saying the code arc is going to be equal to that that's not the greatest sign but maybe he was just like being polite about it and <laughs> maybe it's gonna just blow past that and he can't say yo code arc coming is about to shit on Sasuke Retsuden as Sasuke Retsuden's on TV as he works for Studio Piro that puts out Sasuke Retsuden so yeah I guess this is one of those things of we got to continue to play it by ear until we get a next episode pre Preview for the February 5th release of the Boruto anime, but as it stands right now, yeah, it's gonna be equal to Sasuke Retsuden's anime, guys. I don't know. I think it's gonna be better than that, just to be honest with you. I think the art is gonna look great, and that's probably what he was referring to. And the animation ideally will be Sakuga filled, hopefully, at the very least for the important scenes, right? But only time will tell. I'll have no idea how excited I am to bring you this news right now, because if you've been a fan at all in any capacity of the Seven Deadly Sins by Nakaba Suzuki throughout the years then it's kind of been a little heartbreaking to see the drop in art and animation quality with each and every passing adaptation of the franchise i mean for starters you know we started off with the season one that was banging then season two it was still good wasn't bad but it wasn't as hype as season one in terms of art and animation then you got seasons three and on and it was just downhill like what are we doing here those infamous shots of meliodas looking like a freaking blow-up doll on the bed like it, it was really bad and then we had those two movies well one of them i think is already out and the next one's on the way that was like an intermediate basically film that takes place between the seven deadly sins and four nights of the apocalypse's release and whatnot and i was thinking to myself oh my god <laughs> because the art and animation on those was straight up 3d cg which in retrospect i was probably a little harsh on them because i'm starting to warm up a little bit to 3d cg but still in comparison to what season one of the seven deadly sins you know you go season one seven deadly sins and you go to these movies the grudge of Eden, or whatever the hell it's called now i can't even keep up with the names anymore it's like yo what happened what happened to the seven deadly sins and it felt like okay you know they got this new four nights of the apocalypse stuff that's coming the manga i'm sure they're gonna do 3d cg it's gonna be terrible i lost all hope i'll be honest with you i was like man pack it up dog nakaba why are you letting them do this to you bro why are you letting them punk you know what i'm saying like it was looking bad and right now baby right now right now I've got great news for you lads. We've got a first teaser trailer for the Four Nights of the Apocalypse series that takes place in the same world as the Seven Deadly Sins. And oh my god, they listened. They listened. 
because this trailer looks absolutely amazing. Let's read a little bit of the press release. The Seven Deadly Sins Four Nights of the Apocalypse anime reveals 2023 plans, lead cast, and promo. A TV anime adaptation was revealed for The Seven Deadly Sins Four Nights of the Apocalypse, a sequel to Nakaba Suzuki's The Seven Deadly Sins manga last May, and now we have some more info. The broadcast has been confirmed to begin in 2023 with Sho Komura lined up to voice new protagonist Percival. Animation production is being handled by Telecom Animation Film with Unlimited produced by TMS serving as producer and planner as you can see the debut promo below and oh my god just a little glimpse that they gave of like please just keep it that way please 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 7 Deadly Sins fans deserve this dog like they deserve nothing less than top of the line grade A with everything that 7 Deadly Sins fans and I'm, why am I saying they us because I, I, I'm a 7 Deadly Sins fan we deserve this okay we deserve this and we're going to enjoy this and we're going to be grateful that yes they decided to give us something good to look at because it's like oh we 3D CG'd we you know what I'm saying it's it's been very much so hectic to be a Sins fan Seven Deadly Sins but uh it looks as though at the very least with the Four Nights of the Apocalypse it's about to go down and it's looking mighty curtsy so get excited <laughs> get excited this chair looks dope and I can't freaking wait and I'm glad again to tell you guys that with all of the bad uh there's a little bit of good and art and animation looking fire and from what I read I read about like a chapter or two of it it was very interesting to say the least so get excited we have an update on a series that is going on hiatus and this one kind of took me for a loop let's read because according to this it says here free ed and beyond journeys end will be on indefinite hiatus starting with issue number nine of weekly shonen magazine it is implied that the hiatus will be to prepare for the next arc and that's very interesting uh, indefinite hiatus like a lot of hiatuses lately are, are indefinite and not just like you know hey it's going for a week or whatnot so yeah i wonder what's that about especially considering i've heard nothing but praise for this series i mean when we did the top manga of 2022 big you know event over on rogers bases channel that one was a massive success did it win oh my god i feel like it might no no on dead unluck one but it went very far so to see that uh it's going on an indefinite hiatus and it's preparing for the next arc maybe they're gonna announce like final arc when it returns and i'm expecting no more than a couple of months like there's too much momentum with this one i believe the anime was already announced that it's incoming so this will probably be no more than a month or two max which again kudos to the authors yeah let let, let them relax a little bit let them get a break a breather so that they could work on and prepare for the future and on top of that just get rest in general because dog being a manga author most people don't understand the pressures of it the back aches the arms you know people the world trigger author i heard how many times he broke his freaking wrist dog like this is no joke so yeah get that break in and most above all rest like yeah plan make sure you get everything in order but rest immensely okay maybe not immensely but you get the drift you know get 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 your r&r &R. i have a dream alone in my room as i sit with the tea couldn't possibly think what i often see and you don't even know how i often blink lights be flashing and looking at me such an odd unique yet i'm so unique and you're looking at me if the walls could talk they would probably read me and i'd probably say bitch get the fuck off me